Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your system restore has failed and you're receiving the error code 0x8007009. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by first left clicking on the start button to open up the start menu. And then you want to left click on the power button right above the start menu icon where it says power if you hover over it. Left click on that. Now while holding down the shift key on your keyboard, there are two shift keys. It does not matter which one you select. You want to left click on restart. And once it says please wait, you can release pressure on the shift key. So underneath choose an option, you want to left click on troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. Left click on advanced options. And then left click on where it says startup settings, change Windows startup behavior. And then left click on restart. Now you want to select F5 on your keyboard, so on the top function keys you want to tap the F5 key one time. Okay, so once the safe mode has booted, you want to go right click on the start button, left click on run, type in CMD, and then left click on OK. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. The first command is just going to have the letter C for the C drive right here. You guys are going to have to swap this C out if you guys have a D or an E or a different letter drive that Windows is installed on. So if, for example, you don't know, you might want to go open a File Explorer. So you either search for it in the Start menu search, or if you have a File Explorer icon on your desktop, you can just click on that. Left click on this PC on the left side. Enter the local disk. It should say what letter your hard drive Windows installed on. So local disk, this is the drive that Windows installed on. 
So just make sure you take note of the letter. So if it's anything but C, so if it's anything that's not C, you're going to have to swap out this C with that letter, but all the other commands should be fine. So with that out of the way, let's go copy the first command. So I'm just going to highlight over it, right click, left click on copy. You use your keyboard shortcut too, it doesn't really matter. And then at the top of this command prompt, you want to right click, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Hit enter. Now you want to type in the second command here, so I'm just going to copy it again out of my description. You guys entered safe mode with networking, so you should be able to get all my video through here and just copy it from my description. Or you could have just saved it to your desktop like I did before entering safe mode, whichever is easiest for you. And then paste that one in. This will take a minute to run this command, so just be patient.
Okay guys, once you have that blinking cursor at the end, that means you're ready to move on to the next command. So, we're going to copy the third one in here. Again, same procedure. Right click on the top of the bar once you've copied it. Left click at it, left click on paste, hit enter. So this is what you want to see. So successfully processed this many files, failed to process zero, so it was able to do all of them, which is good. And now we're going to move on to the fourth one here. So again, same thing, pasting that one in. And last one, it shouldn't take very long. Right click, edit, paste, enter. And that should be about it. So if you close out of here, we suggest restarting your computer into the normal Windows operating environment.
So there you go guys, just wanted to show you that we'd be able to boot back into Windows without an incident. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.